Rich here, and that was part of uh, The Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix. Um, such an awesome song, and Hendrix, you know, has that ultra-unique style of playing, very rhythmic, very chord-based, but he doesn't strum chords like your standard player, right? And he's not doing... He's not doing that type of thing, right? He plays chords, but he doesn't quite do arpeggios, he, like, plucks notes in and out of chords, and then uses accents within the chords. For example, you heard that... Um, that type of thing, right? Where you're making a chord shape, but you're dancing around the chord shape using uh, neighboring tones and things like this that, that really give Hendrix his unique rhythm guitar playing style. Um, and even though Hendrix is like a Strat player, electric guitar with a Marshall stack and the whole thing, right? That doesn't mean we can't do it on acoustic. You just saw me do it. So if I could do it, you could do it. And uh, in today's lesson, what we're going to talk about is the chord structure of the song, because it's pretty much the same chords over and over, and then there's a solo, and then it's the same chords again. Um, and he sort of plays, uh, I'll, I'll kind of give you one run through of those chords, how he plays it, and then um, I'll also give you like a simplified version so you could just strum along and sing the song if you want to. Um, but in addition to that, we'll also cover the solo, which uses a lot of double stops and uh, very, uh, sort of like a precursor to like modern R&B playing. Um, but uh, that and much more coming up right now, we'll cover The Wind Cries Mary, so by the end of it you'll be able to play from beginning to end with some improvised feels, uh, some, you know, improvised grooves and things like this, uh, and also the guitar solo, so you'll have a lot to work with, so let's get going. 